Yo, what's going on, guys? The Nerds here, back with a new episode of DG Modify, a podcast series that we do every Tuesday and Thursday where we talk about everything and anything Digimon related. Today, we are going to be talking about options, the offensive side, defensive side, which decks does it better, which decks might need it, which decks don't even bother playing them. But on that, if you guys do enjoy the content that we put out there, make sure to leave a like down below. It really does help us out a lot. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really does help out even more to reach 600 by eventually. Eventually, we'll get to the to the uh, 600 mark if you guys. And if you guys are already subscribed and want to get um, notified when we put a new episode out make sure to hit that bell notification because then you get to know when we put something else out because uh our regular content is whenever we get a chance to record something but our normal content is going to be the podcast that we do twice a week where we talk about different topics either uh the uh the tournament results tier list what decks are doing good what decks are doing bad what are super hyped so on that we're talking about options what options do you guys use? Let me know in the comments down below. And options, I mean like the actual cards that say option as that you need um, a, a specific color on board or in raising to be able to actually even activate. So which ones do you use? Do you run the consistency options? Do you run um, the options that you have to? Because um, like let's say decks like the Grandis Koagamon, you have to run X Antibody. You just do. You do so that you can go into your Grandis um, Koagumon a whole lot easier, especially when you swing. You can just go for it for whatever um, like memory. I don't play the deck, so all I know is from experience that they need it so they can go one day attack and then they can um, uh, um, like suspend to re-attack again. That is that is neither here there. Plus the new, um, the excellent body option you kind of need so you can get it off of the cool boy so that you add more consistency to your deck. Decks like the Medical Room on X, do you run the metal storm do you run any spot removal in your like option slots do you think you need it um you are 100 i know you 100 are running blue memory boost i haven't just yet because i'm just a, a really bad player but that is neither here or there i am still rebuilding the deck to get more um of the consistency i think the deck already does well with in the uh consistency factor but um do you run like cards like the Cactus's breath to get rid of stuff um if you're like the build star deck you run defensive and and like offensive um cards you run all of your um um like seven costed um like options that you're able to just spot remove or mass remove cards from the board as well as you run the memory boost hold so that you can get more stuff in the graveyard for your for for your consistency um, for the for the Alpha Man deck, you run the Breath of the Gods so that you don't outright die to stupid stuff like the spot removal, and you're able to hit hit it um in security and be alive for the next turn. So, which ones do you guys run? Um, do we need specific decks to have specific cards? Let's go back to the example of the medical for the medical room on X. Do you have room for the Cactus's Breath? Right now, I'm running one of the Metal Storm just so the fact that I can play it for five if I can. And it's still a spot removal card that if I absolutely need it, it's there. But a lot of times, I'm hoping that it's in the security, but I often draw it since it is a, it is currently a one of. But do I think that that the um that the one that the Blue Memory Boost is a whole lot better? Absolutely, especially with the way that deck is supposed to be played as an OTK deck. With a lot of the um like OTK decks that we have right now, do we just run more stuff to search out the pieces that we need? And for the like the first two, three turns, do we just get smacked up and then on turn number three or four that we get to promote, do we just win out right? I don't know. Um with decks with um with let's say the Sakuyamon um, on board that if you bring up from racing you get the uh the my security three do we need a way to get rid of that before we're able to make our game plan happen the whole meta might change in like in like a week or so where um the security control might be a big thing so we have to play a lot faster or we might not get a lot of the security control and we just have um a lot of the floodgate cards on the board and the only way to get rid of them would be with spot removal so what do you think is better to run especially in in the case of like locals versus like regional slash the ultimate cups 
for um for like the locals you can run a super tech out deck and still do really well but in a format where you want to play as consistent as possible like regionals do you tempt fate and try to get those tech choices to work for you or do you try to go as consistency with as much of the consistent in your plan with with the blue memory boost, with um, with like hammer sparks, to try to get your plays out as fast as possible, so that you can end the game as quickly as possible. That's that whole um, like thought process with the options, and there's such flex spots in each specific deck that it's very hard to kind of uh, like figure out what is the best um like option for your specific deck. Like in the last format, where we had let's say blue hybrid be the number one deck of the format. A lot of people were playing, um, like Innocent Blizzard, which is a fantastic, um, like option to use as a defensive option. But when it came to, let's say, going against uh, the mother, um, like D Reaper, Blue Hybrid had a bit of a hard time since it, it needed to go as quickly as possible. And there are just a lot of times where you just don't do that just yet because you don't get, you have to set up your tamers, and giving the mother D Reaper that time to set up since uh since um like blue Hi blue hybrid is a bit of a control deck you kind of lose to cards like the gatekeeper where there's no actual removal card it's just stun cards in blue hybrid so um like some people have were playing like the spot removal like the rattle star to just spot remove a specific threat out of the way so they can win the game right there and then so do we check stuff in or do we not? That is all up to you. I just want to get that, um, like the thought process, um, like out there to and, and kind of get your own opinion on which options you think is really good. Um, do you like playing like the one to two costed options that do very specific things, or do you like to play like eight drops, or do you think that the eight drops, like the guy force, um, like ultimate flare, I, do you guys think is too much? Um, I do have to say from experience, especially from the last um, like locals, I believe that cards like um, like Ultimate Player and the uh, um, cards that the Digivolve are, are going to be really, really good right now, especially since you're going to be going up against a lot of big stack decks like the um, like the War Greymon X Antibody, the Medical Rumon X Antibody, the Grand Discoagamon, um, even like Imperial, I think is still going to be really good to just spot remove um like ultimate flare on a pelodramon is gonna hurt them a lot especially on the first hit since they they do get the one draw but then they're back to a rookie and then it kills all of the rookies um and the ultimate flare activates insecurity which is fantastic but it hurts a lot especially when you hit it as your first hit and you're trying to go for an otk right there and then um so do we go for the bomb options or do we go for try to win as fast as possible? I don't know. With the shift, if we get um like a shift in an OTK style where you don't have the spot removal, let's say, um, do decks like uh like the security control, do they just thrive off of that? Do with all of their um like spot removal and, and the longevity um, like that they get, do they just thrive off of not really worrying about dying to your opponent since you can just get rid of them every time, um, make that swing? I don't know. And the biggest qu qu question is now that in case that does happen, in case we do get the rise of all the security control, do you guys plan ahead and run a delicate plan? I already did that. Like, I'm already running at least one delicate plan in every deck that I can to fit in a red tamer or like a red and blue tamer or um, a red and yellow tamer just in case I do face the security control deck. Do you guys think that far ahead? Do you guys think that it um that a delicate plan is needed at all, especially in decks like um like the grandest um that Koagoman that doesn't get their own inherit a delicate plan in their um, in their Digimons, like decks like, like Red Hybrid, um, like OTK and War Greymon X, you can honestly with the War Greymon you can attack security without um like activating the options. So they have a inherit a delicate plan which works a whole lot better for them. Um, but decks that aren't red, 
are you guys just going to find a way to plan ahead and do a delicate plan so that your stack doesn't die? Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, and will the choices would would your would it change if you go to locals or um or to regionals? Do you guys want to play a, a delicate plan? Do you guys think it's a dead card? Um, that is all up to you guys. Um, I just want to get that thought process out there and making like a little bit of a shorter podcast since it's more of a discussion. Alrighty guys, so that is going to wrap it up for today's Digi Modify podcast. I just want to get my my thoughts out there about um like options because that's always the one that I always have a tough a tough spot trying to fit in either removal or more consistency. But on that, have yourself a fantastic day and let me go and once again let me know down below what you guys think. Have yourself a great day. Bye, guys.